This video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. I'm an entertainer. I am the one and only eight father in the house, baby. Wow! Okay, uh, this is a very important video. I, I've never made a video like this before. Um, I've come to a lot of acceptances just being in the stock market. I was in the market for a while, even before AMC. And um, let me just first say, we're going to win, okay? We're going to win with AMC, okay? We're going to win with Prague. And you know what? Honestly, you're going to win with, if you're in GameStop, I think you're going to win with GameStop as well. Okay, and let me tell you, the thing is, there's the pitfalls, you understand? And um, I think you already know this, but maybe it's kind of like one of those things, like, you know what? You know something, but you're not really, uh, you don't have that conviction in it. You're not 100%. You may be like 50%. Well, I want to make it 100% clear, <laughs> okay? That's what, what the goal of this video is. How do you make money in the stock market, Okay. Unfortunately, I just come to the acceptance, the stock market is very corrupt, but it's the most corrupt financial system. I mean, they make casinos almost look like, you know, like a, a resort. <laughs> you know, <laughs> casinos are, are probably the most corrupt place to ever go to. It's a fixed system to lose money. And I think the stock market makes casinos almost look like you're going to paradise. That's how bad the stock market is. Apparently, nobody cares. I mean, this is just how I feel, okay? Nobody cares what Ken Griffin is doing, you know? Nobody cares with hedge funds that they're using all these illegal tactics, naked shorting, all these dark pools, manipulation, fail to delivers, okay? No one cares. That's how I feel. I'm sorry. Gary Gensler, if you're going to get mad at me, it is of my opinion, you don't care. Sorry. That's how I feel, okay? And I don't think the DTCC cares. I don't think, you know, FINRA cares. <laughs> I don't think the government cares. I don't think nobody cares, okay? So how can you stop that? Like, I want you to really take a moment. And this is not fun. This is not fun because I told you at the beginning of the video, we're going to win. But I just want to continue with my point of what we have to deal with until we win. So how do you stop a force like that? Protest? I mean, I'm getting people who are emailing me and sending me messages. Let's protest. Don't back down this time, Ape Father. Is that really going to do anything? I don't think so. I don't think so. I really don't think so. Um, it's unfortunate, but we are living in the most corrupt, corrupt system on earth. Wall Street, okay? So now you might say, well, Ape Father, if you're saying all of this, why should we invest? Why, why should we waste our time? Okay, here's how you win. When you invest in a company, you understand, okay, until like there's a major announcement or there's a catalyst, there's something big that has to happen. You understand? You have to deal with what's called like a, like a video game. You know, we all play, I play like the PlayStation 5, the Xbox Series X. Okay, we're playing games, right? This is what Ken Griffin, this is what the hedge funds are doing to us. They're playing a mind psychological game because no one's stopping them. It's like a kid at a candy store, baby. They walk into the market. They use all of these fake shares, promissory notes to manipulate the stock down. Then maybe they rise it back up to give us a little hope. And then they ladder attack it down. It's a game. It's a game to them. And they have a free ticket to ride to do whatever they want because nobody's watching and because nobody cares. That's the truth, okay? No one's scared. Like Gary Gensler's doing this. While Ken Griffin and while all these hedge funds are manipulating stocks, here's Gary Gensler on the table. He's closing his eyes. He's doing this. He's, 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 look, he's looking the other way. That's it. He's looking the other way. So how do we win? You need something big to happen to cause a squeeze, okay? It's not enough. See, like, I think a lot of apes originally went into AMC and even me, a lot, a lot of people went into Prague because they see a potential of a short squeeze. You understand? They see a potential of a gamma squeeze. They see a potential of all of these shorts that are outstanding. In some cases, 30, 40, 50%, all this stuff. Okay. That's not enough. It's not, I'm, I'm realizing I've come to an acceptance. Like, like AMC is like, what? Wow, probably it's, it's, it's a hundred percent shorted. And then if you add all the synthetics and all the, it's probably a million percent shorted, right? So that's not enough to cause a squeeze. Okay. So you can't, we can no longer go into companies thinking that just because there's a high, a short interest, that that's going to be enough for all of us to make millions. Right. So that's a part of it. 
That is a part of it, okay? But that's not the whole cake. That's not the whole bakery. We need something to trigger the short squeeze. Like example, I'll say Adam Aaron, here's an example, would have said, I'm partnering with Netflix. AMC and Netflix, that's it. We're partnering together. We got a great future together. AMC would have had a short squeeze. And that's what I was really hoping for on the earnings report when he was going to make that big announcement. But it turned out the big announcement was popcorn. Now, I'm not saying that popcorn is bad. I'm not saying that. But popcorn is not enough to to, to ignite a short squeeze. Okay. It's the same thing now with, with Prague. Okay. Prague, we're waiting on a big announcement that's probably going to be November 22nd. We're hoping, but it's not guaranteed, that they're going to reveal who their partner is. Now, if they would say something like we're partnering with Pfizer, Merck, or there's going to be a buyout, that's going to trigger a major squeeze. Okay, that's what's going to do it. And I guess what I'm saying to you is this, okay? I've come to the acceptance that if there is no major catalyst, if there's no major news, that they, it, we're gonna we're gonna continue to play uh, this uh, video game with, with Ken Griffin and the hedge funds for as long as it takes. Nothing that you're witnessing is real. No one is selling on AMC. No one's selling on Prague. This is not retail investors in selling. This is just Ken Griffin using his you know a uh, lottery ticket right that no one's watching him. Okay, it's like a lottery ticket for him. It really is that he could just take you know an unlimited amount of promissory notes, an unlimited amount of fake synthetic shares and manipulate the market. And this is what, it's not just him. This is what all these hedge funds do. So without a major announcement, without something big, we, we could be playing this game for, for a while. That's it. It's like, so I don't want to lie to you. I just want to be straight. Look, are we going to win? Yes, because that's when it comes down to diamond balls of steel. Like if you're willing to wait, for however long as it takes until, you see, I know they say until the shorts are covered. I don't even think that's what it is. I don't like, because put yourself in Ken Griffin's shoes, right? He's got all this money. He can keep this going. Look, as long as he has enough money, as long as he has enough cash, as long as he have enough collateral, he doesn't have to cover. But see, maybe there are events like, you know, Mr. Clean talks about, and I agree with Mr. Clean. Okay, like with Tesla, for instance, with Elon Musk, like if this guy starts selling a tremendous amount of Tesla, it could cause such a, a, a you know, catastrophic event in the, in Wall Street where everything starts going down and hedge funds start losing so much money, they'll be forced to cover. So that's where I'm getting at. That's what I'm driving at. If if something happens that forces them to cover like a forced margin call, we win. If there's a major announcement, a major catalyst, we win. Until then, we have to be prepared to kind of ignore all of the fake prices, the fake manipulation. Everything is fake because I keep hearing people are messaging me. Hey, Father, Prague is done. It went down to like 380 today. It's finished. It's not finished. It's fake. It's not real. No one is selling. This is just hedge funds, you know, messing with our minds. Okay, so the question you really have to ask yourself, do you have what it takes to hold? Okay, do you have what it takes to have diamond balls of steel to wait until there's something like here's another thing like Mark, uh, Mark Ohunas, you know, said that he's looking to do something 